two and a half tablespoons of flour, um, an onion or half an onion, and a blue peel, uh, some water, and, and that's it. So that right there is the base for everything else. And once you try that, um, and it makes about a cup, um, a cup of sauce, you can over rice, um, and then I start experimenting and adding things to it, uh, frozen vegetables, lentils, um, bean soup. Uh, so here's some, here's some examples of things that I have added. We're not gonna try all of these today. Um, but what we do have is some red lentils that are cooking right now. And then when they're ready, we'll add those in. I also have some frozen peas and frozen green beans, as well as some, um, oddly enough, lunch meat. So the peas, the beans, or the greens, um, the peas, the beans, uh, mixed with rice that you're going to put it over, makes complete protein. So you don't need meat. Um, and from time to time, I would add you know, like some sliced ham or some salami just to add to the flavor. And uh, I've also done it with uh, shrimp. Um, put shrimp and I use actually coconut flour, which uh, I think the next time I try it, I'll do coconut milk instead because the uh, flour was a little, a little grainy. Um, but everyone that tried it uh, enjoyed it. So, you know, it's kind of an experiment as you go. So the flour that we use, um, we can use regular white flour or you can use spelt flour, which has a little more flavor. I generally use the spelt just because I enjoy it. I, and I don't use that much if I'm putting in any vegetable, which will also add in the thickener. And that's all that is. It's just a thickener to add to add some bulk. If, uh, I normally will put in potatoes and green beans or peas or you know a couple of vegetables, and that makes a very nice mix. So the first thing I'll do is uh, saute an onion. And when that's sauteed, and if you are putting vegetables in and you're cooking them, like carrots, um, I will, or potatoes, I will cook those. Turn that down a little bit. So if you're cooking vegetables in the frying pan, which is where you make your um, your roux, then you put those in first, and then mix in your onions later because they'll cook down pretty fast. And then once those are ready, then you can add the onions and then your your spice, which is going to be your your curry spice. And once you mix that up, it'll thicken into a roux, and then you can put in your uh, broth, which is a cup of water with a bouillon cube, heat it up, and you mix that in, and then the whole thing settles. And at that point, I will mix in my mixed, uh, or if I use frozen vegetables, um, I'll heat those up in the microwave, and then add them in at the end with the water, and then it all just gels into a, uh, a nice little sauce. Any questions before we start? All right. Um, who wants to work with me? <laughs> but you both can. So <laughs> yes. um, the first thing I'll do is just a basic curry that you can try, and the next thing we'll do is add vegetables to it. So I, I don't know what you like. Um, we like anything. You like anything? Yeah. So work for anything. Okay. So we can wash some carrots. And cut those up. Green beans work very well. In fact, if you want to cut those up, you want me to peel them? I don't. It's up to you. I like just circles or yeah. That's what I know. And peas or green beans. Choice. Peas. Peas.
And I've also used uh, vegetable oil instead of butter. And that works just fine. start to finish, it usually takes me about an hour. And that's okay. cooking rice and, and if I remember... What kind of rice do you use? Normally I use nishiki, although I think I just have a, a brown long grain right here. I prefer the nishiki. That's technically Japanese rice, so... Yeah. I've heard of that one. Mm -hmm. Where do uh, you get that? Wagmans, over in Pennsylvania. Nancy would actually be good on that. Can you find that in in Heinz? I have to ask because I haven't heard of it. But okay, we might if you it. shop at a higher scale Giant Eagle, we carry it. Okay, okay. like the Market District. We market probably. District, the Stowe Hudson store, the um, actually the Cog Falls one might carry it too. Those are higher calibers. Okay. Calibers stores. If you carry it, like you said, it's more of a high end thing, then you probably do have it. You work at high end? Yeah. Oh, okay. But really, it's whatever rice you want. The nishiki is designed, I believe, uh, for sushi. So it's a little stickier, a little, a little sweeter. Uh, you don't really like it. Oh, what? The, uh, no, you prefer the long grain. Yeah, so, uh, well, I've given I, you samples. You've selected yep. the. Yeah, <clears throat> I uh, there's an Indian store uh, right on Market Street, mm -hmm. and they sell basmati rice mm -hmm. by the by you know five yeah. pound sack, if Huge. you will. Okay. Yeah, so uh, so I prefer that. But again, I've been told it's less nutritional value, and you know. <laughs> But I, yeah. I, I don't know how nutritional I, rice in general is. Yeah. yeah. Brown rice. Brown rice, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you a hunter? Where did you get all this? this? I am a hunter, yes. I grew up in Pennsylvania, so it's pretty much a national holiday. It's open season. Yeah.
Councils? So I got a question, Mike. Yes. <clears throat> At Synhack, is this the very first ever cooking class ever performed? Yes. yes. As far as oh I know. wow, man, you guys are it's you guys are lucky. <laughs> this is this is a monumental event here, you know. Food hacking has always been like yeah. on the list of stuff yeah. we do, but yeah. nobody really does it except for Mike. Yeah. <laughs> well. Well, yeah. that's what I thought. Maybe it's time to have a class. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Why not? It was high time, yeah. yeah. So, there may be something wrong with that back burner. It's a little pretended. Um, so, I turned it up a little bit. Anyways, just move on. Starting to smell tasty here. <coughs> What is that anyway, the cube? I'm sorry? What is that cube anyway? What, like, what is... Uh, what? Uh, it's the essence of chicken. Oh, okay. It's okay. super condensed. Super condensed. How do they make it? I can't. <laughs> yeah. It's probably best not to know. Yeah. But how they get chicken stock is by... Yeah, just boil. Uh, yeah. You know, boiling chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boiling yeah. chicken. So, yeah. and then they continue to boil it until it becomes a little. Wow. 
And if I'm making like a bigger pot, then I kind of upscale my my portions. I'll go with you know, a cup and a half, a little more. But a cup of water and these proportions does pretty well. What's the name of it, Mike? Again? It's mild curry powder. Yes. Do you like spicy? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Okay. So you can spice it up as much as you like. Um, we'll spice up the second one. This one will will give you just flat, so you know what the what it does. Um, Tablespoon of curry powder. About two and a half tablespoons of flour. And this one will do uh, regular flour. And the next one will do we'll do the stuffed flour so you can taste the difference. So the first time I tried making this, I thought you just added like a spice. So I, I fried some venison medallions and just dumped the curry powder and it was just curry powder and oil and oh. I got it right. But <laughs> <I'm just seeing laughs> it. I'm like, all right, maybe the internet can help me out. So, yeah. So then I'm going to turn it way down. Only because we're waiting for our broth. That's exactly, and, and uh, two tablespoons of butter. And like I said, I've used other oils, and that comes out just fine, so. It smells good. Butter and 